Hello and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to configure Terraform to use an Azure service principle. In the first example, we're going to include the details for logging on using the service principle in the main Terraform configuration file. So we need to gather some information and enter this into the provider section of this configuration file. So first we need to look for the client ID, which in Azure is the application ID. So using a PowerShell commandlet, we can find that application ID. And there we have the GUID, which we paste into the client ID. The client secret will be retrieved when you initially create the service principle or if you create a new key within the service principle. And to get the subscription ID and tenant ID, we can use get Azure RM subscription. So you see, we can retrieve the subscription ID and tenant ID and paste those into the Terraform configuration file. So to test this, we'll first initialize the environment for the Azure provider. Then we'll launch Terraform plan. So Terraform plan will connect to Azure. It won't actually create the resource group that we've specified, but it will tell us what the result will be. So to test this out, we're basically creating a resource group called test-rg. So now the plan looks okay. We shall do Terraform apply. So we'll type in yes. Just before we execute this, we'll switch across to Azure and you'll see that I've only got one resource group there at the moment. So if we go back here and execute this now, that is now saying it's completed. If I go back into the Azure portal and I do a refresh, you'll see we have our resource group. So in our second example, this time in the configuration file, you'll see that we're only defining resources. This is because we're going to use variables. So we've created a file called variables.tf and in here we are creating subscription ID, client ID, client secret and tenant ID as variables that we can pass in at runtime. So in the first section, I've actually defined the provider and after that, each variable I've declared, giving it a short description and a default value. So the actual values can be stored in a TF vars file. This means that you can quite happily upload your configuration and your variables file to the likes of GitHub and you won't need to put any details about the account that you use or service principle that you use to create infrastructure in Azure. So you can add the TF vars to a, a git ignore file or store it in a secure place. So to run this, we will perform an initialization first. That makes sure that we have the correct modules and providers downloaded to my laptop. Then this time we need to run the terraform plan command, but this time we're going to use a parameter called minus var dash file. And this will pass our variables into the plan. So we're quite happy with that. We can go ahead now and we will apply our configuration, which is to create a resource group called prod-rg. Okay, we'll type yes. So if we go over to the resource groups in the portal and we do a refresh again, you'll now see we have our prod-rg group. Thank you for watching this video.